This is a follow-up to the UMC202 HD, the reasonably priced audio interface from reasonably average Behringer. In my first video I outlined its key features and now, after some feedback, I am going to show you how it sounds through my setup. All of my recent videos use the interface, so feel free to check them out if you have some time on your hands. You're watching this video probably because you're interested in the audio interface. Not only because of the price, but also because it is not a fancy frilly one that will blow your trousers off, unless you're into that kind of thing. Cursory glances at the, at the Amazon reviews and other noted observations online would indicate that most people are happy with it. The Behringer UM2 is their cheapest in the range and did not really attract me. I tend to stay away from the basic models because they lack features that I might want in the future. Working up from there is the UMC22. This is a compact version and uses just one channel. There are rack versions and the more expensive UMC204 HD, but if you are like me and intend to use it for basic purposes, the UMC2 HD is a more likely choice. It has two channels, it makes it especially good for using a mic or electric drums at the same time as when you're in some kind of crazy shredding bonanza. I use Reaper as my door and Bias FX2 to make the guitar sounds through an i7 laptop with 8GB RAM. Reaper is free for valuation purposes and Bias FX is a relatively cheap option which gives you some great guitar sounds. When I plug my guitar through Reaper using Bias FX, I'm not getting any latency whatsoever. I've never noticed a delay or anything to cause me to have some kind of breakdown. 